Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a big thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today we're going to be talking about my hallucinations. I recorded a clip on my phone, which I'll play for you in a minute. And this was last night. I basically started to hallucinate having bugs on me while just before I was going to turn my light off. I saw shadow figures in the corner of my eye and it just, I figured I'd record my response to it because I've never really seen videos of people doing that. So basically this is what happened. I'm hallucinating right now. I've got my back turned to the door because I keep seeing shadow figures running across the room. I've got bugs falling up my legs and it's so uncomfortable. I literally want to cry. I have them rubbing my knees together and it's just making it, it's not helping. So now you've seen that short clip of me reacting to my hallucinations, what you can't see is the fear I have of it. Like feeling bugs crawling over you is horrible. You feel dirty. You feel you feel gross. You worry if I got grease on me, am I have I got food bits over me? Etc etc. You just obsess about every little thing about bugs being on you. Like why are they on me? What's wrong with me? And then there's the visual hallucinations, which are the shadow figures running across my room. And when I say this scares me. They, I have a habit of them running to me and a habit of them running to the corner of my room. Now when they run towards me, I instantly start panicking because I don't want something running towards me. Who does? And basically, I was just having this episode last night and I figured I'd record it because what people don't talk about is how real hallucinations are. Now I try to raise awareness for schizoaffective disorder. My friend, my best friend Alana makes videos about mental health and, and schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia, mania, etc etc. I'll link her channel in the description down below. Honestly, hallucinations are terrifying and I wish there was something I could do to make them go away. But there isn't. And hallucinations are scary. It might not be real and we might know it's not real, but they're still happening. And you can't argue with something that you can physically feel and see. Trying to convince yourself it's not real when you can physically see it and feel it. It's so hard to break through that. It doesn't scare me as much as it used to. So before I was on antipsychotics, I had hallucinations all the time. And it was one of my major symptoms and major signs that I had schizoaffective disorder because I didn't have, I didn't just have hallucinations when I was in a bipolar episode. I had them all the time. So I probably should have guessed sooner that I had schizoaffective disorder, but we didn't. I am grateful to have such an amazing friend like Alana who understands what I'm going through and I'm glad I get to be there for her. But yeah, that's all I've got for this video. I know it's not a very long video. Sorry I didn't go into it too much. I just don't feel comfortable going into it any more than I have. I'm still learning to live with this disorder. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you're new, subscribe. Join the growing family. The reason I say join the growing family is because you guys are like a family to me. And we're growing. There's more of us every day. So join the growing family. Anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.